So hello everyone again. Um, welcome to the part two of the tutorial. Um, today we're going to start creating the actual HTML documents uh, and start creating our views. So um, let's go to the editor again and let's go into the templates folder and we're going to create um, start off by creating a file called layout.html. In Flask, what you do is that you create templates that inherits from each other, and every template of our application will inherit from the layout.html template. So, touch layout.html. And this will just be like basic HTML stuff, like head and HTML and body and stuff like that. And we want to link our style sheet uh, into our head. So I'm just going to create a style file. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to link rel equals to style sheet. Style sheet type is equal to text CSS and href is equal to. And here I'm going to do some Jinja magic stuff. Um, uh, Jinja is a templating language and we're going to use a built-in function called URL4 which is used to create URLs for static files. So what you do is uh, you create this sort of thing, uh, two curly brackets, um, actually it's four curly brackets, and you do URL4 equal to CSS, CSS and I prefer to do this I think it looks cleaner right and just to try this out I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set the background color to red um, and now in our app.py um, we actually want to remove this route because we're gonna use a view for it instead. So delete that. And inside the views folder, create another file called index.py. And we're gonna use something called blueprinting here. And there is a really good blueprint uh, boilerplate for it. Um, if you go to um, uh, flask blue. Um, <laughs> uh, and by the way, this is not <laughs> porn, it's uh, a video streaming site. <laughs> it looked pretty weird. Uh, anyways, let's go to that um, site and copy the blueprint uh, that they have an example here. I'm just going to copy that one. And I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to delete some stuff that we do not need. Uh, for example, the abort one and the template not found one. And we're going to rename the simple page to BP, which is short for blueprint. And here we're just going to type name, which will be the name of the file index. I'm going to leave it like that, and then we'll delete that. And I'm gonna do instead of simple page dot route, I'm gonna do bp dot route. And now we could just do return hello world, and we should also remember that one. And now in the app dot pi, we're just gonna import that view just like this from from node app node app dot views dot index import bp as index bp and then we're going to register it to the application save and i'm going to start the app 
and we should see the same result as before. Right. So now we actually want to go into that blueprint and return the layout instead. So to do that, we're just going to do, use the function that is imported here called render template. Render template layout.html. And as you can see, it works. The CSS is loaded and the HTML is loaded. So other we're actually going to create another file here called index.html, which will be the actual index file. Um, this is just the layout like structure. So we're going to use something called blocks, uh, which is used to like um, uh, inject other HTML code. Um, so we're going to use a block inside of the body called block content. So now what we can do is go to the index.html and inherit the layout.html by doing this. Uh, oh, sorry, this should be extends layout.html. There we go. And then we can create the content block. And I'm going to type something in here just to test it. Woohoo, this is the index. And there should be no difference at this point. What we need to do is go into the index.py and return the index.html instead. So now you can see it works. Um, so the way this works is that we have the layout, which has a block called content and in the index.html we inherit the layout and we use that block to render stuff. So even if I put something before the block like a site, we will still see that. I think you get the hang of it. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, so what I think we should do is create a navigation bar for our application to start with. And since that navigation bar should follow every view, we can put it in the layout HTML so that every other file gets the navigation bar as well. So before the content, I'm going to do nav class equals nav bar. And I'm just going to create a view here. Uh, this will be to the left. And to the left, we should have a button to create notes. So href is equal to um, New note. We could add our plus sign maybe. Uh, sorry, I this I want this to be to the right instead. Seems more logical. And maybe here we can have the name of the application. And we can have a class in this called. Uh, name or something. There we go. And we should see some weird stuff going on here. What we're going to do now is remove the HTML body. And I'm going to reset the style by removing paddings and margins from the application. And then I'm going to create the navbar class. Refresh. 
we go. It looks a little bit better. And we're going to need to add the left and right class as well. There we go. And I would like to have some margins as well. pretty neat and I'm going to remove the text decoration as well. Cool. Let's add some Hoover effect to it. So now we have created the navigation bar and it should actually be fairly responsive as well. Cool. Um, so what I'm thinking now is that we should have like a list of notes here. Um, so what we could do is just to try it out. This is a for loop in Jinga. I think this is how you write it. And we're just going to do. Yeah, that works. Um, let's wrap that stuff in another div called note list. And add some indentation to it. Cool. So now we can do we're gonna style the uh, the uh, the wrap container um, and we're going to do display flex, flex, direction, row, flex, wrap, wrap. There we go. And then we're going to do dot note list, dot note. Let's make them uh, like two by four pixels, by three hundred pixels. Get some nice color, flat UI colors. Uh, this looks like a good note color. And let's add box sizing border box. There we go. Let's add some marg into them as well. Cool, looks pretty good. Um, so, um, the next step is to actually make this button work to be able to create notes and um, make it actually print out real notes here in instead of these uh, example notes. Um, uh, but I think this is all for this video and um, in the next video we will do that. Um, let me just go over a little bit here what we did. First we create a block in our layout.html file and we made the index.html file inherit the layout.html file and then we use the block that we created in the layout, uh, create a div and create a loop for a loop um, and print out 100 example notes. We also create a style sheet and we styled our notes and we also create a navigation bar. Um, 
and in the index.py file, we are rendering the index.html file. In the next video, we will actually um, like get stored notes here and we will um, put a variable here in the render template function uh, example notes is equal to notes and then we can use this variable inside of the index uh, .html to uh, to iterate over real notes uh, but that is for the next video I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video